Hello, my name is Bruce Shane, and today I'd like to take a look at pulleys and how they make work easier for us. Uh, they can change the direction of force, and if we put a couple of them together, they can actually change the amount of force that we apply. So, let's take a closer look. My students start the investigation by looking at a single pulley. We put a weight on here, I pull it down, and the weight goes up. If I put the same size weight on the opposite side, they balance. There's no change in force. It's simply changing the direction that it's applied. Now let's try this on a larger scale. To give my students a better feel for how pulleys and pulley systems work, I'm going to have them lift something a little bit heavier. We have this homemade seat that's going to attach to the pulleys and the pulley systems, and then students can lift each other and actually feel the difference as we change its mechanical advantage. We start this demonstration by tying a rope to the upstairs railing and simply attaching the pulleys and pulley combinations to that rope and I allow the students to lift each other for short distances so they can feel how that force and distance change from one system to another. Now as our final investigation, we decided to see how many students would be needed to lift our principal, Mr. Wright, using a pulley and each of the pulley combinations. We'll start with a single pulley and see what happens. Not secure. <laughs> Okay, so how many students does it take to lift Mr. Wright with this one? Six. Okay, we have six. So what's, what's our mechanical advantage here? One. One, okay. So whatever he weighs, that's how much force you guys have to apply. Now let's take a look at a pulley system. I have a fixed pulley up here and a movable pulley here. Once again, when I pull down on this rope, the weight goes up, but I have to pull twice as far to get this to go up half the distance. But the advantage is I don't have to pull as hard. This has a mechanical advantage of two, so I only have to pull half as much as what these weigh. In fact, I can demonstrate that by putting one weight on the rope that I pull down, and it balances. Now let's go try this and see if that makes any improvement in a larger system. Here's our setup for the first pulley system. I'll let you guys do it. So see now, if you can lift them. Now he'll be Oh, there. Now he'll be used. Right. Okay. How many students are we using this time? Four more. We have no, four. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Okay, now. If he goes up one if Mr. Wright's going up one meter, how far do you guys have to pull? Two times as far, okay, good. No, I jumped off to see if I can make you all fall down, but I didn't jump off fast enough. Now, let's see if we can make it even easier. In this case, I have a double pulley up here and a double pulley down here. This is a string I pull down on. It goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down, it goes up, attaches to the fixed pulley. Whatever force I apply here is increased four times here, but I have to pull this out four times further. So let's see how much easier it makes it to lift the principal now. So here's a setup for this next system. Three. Three. Count them off. What do we got? Four. Cole? Four. One, two. Yeah, four. Four. Okay. Three girls. Let's see if we can do it. No, the middle one can. Each. Okay. Right there, you're like dying back there. I'm laughing. How much work are you actually doing? I'm not trying to burst out. All right, we're at the top. We're at the top. Okay. <laughs> let go. I don't know. We're not going to let go. Now, let's try this one last time. I have a triple pulley and a triple pulley for a mechanical advantage of six. That means whatever force I apply here is increased six times here. It also means that i got to pull this out six times further. So let's see if we can use this mechanical advantage and get a single student to lift our principal. Yes. Okay, Callie, see if you can lift it. worried about that freight? Yeah. No, nope. nah, we're good. You got a break. You'll be fine. It's okay. It won't do. It's totally not going to sound like that. Unless you're like, hold on. Go, Kelly. All the way up. Wave in your left, Kelly. All the way. More of those slides. Yeah, Kelly. You're right at the bottom. No, I don't know. It probably would be like a foot drop. You want some? It was like a little bit mad. It was like I was scared. I would have to do a couple feet. He's put off the ground. Grab him. Okay, let's see if the brake works. Let go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it works. Yay. Hey, it does work. All the way up the room. That was a 50 50 chance you had there, by the way. Don't overuse it.
Now, the reason why this pulley system and all pulley systems makes it easier to lift is that you're trading force for distance. In this case, each one of those ropes between the pulleys is lifting up with the same amount of force that's being pulled down on that single strand. So the force is increased six times. Now this also means however many strands there are, that's how many times further you must pull the rope that you're applying the force to. Is it physically possible? Mr. Wright had one last question. Would he be able to lift himself? This method even makes it easier. Since he's pulling on that rope himself, he now has seven ropes that are supporting him, so he only has to apply about one-seventh of his body weight. Let's try. Let it go. Come on. Be a man.